there should be seeds you should be planting that will help you create upsells way after you sold the client. We're going to roll these graphics and we're going to get right into what I'm talking about. What's really good, if this is your first time on this channel, my name is Ty. I'm a former Army combat photographer and the owner of Flash Film Media. And here at Flash Film Academy, this is where creatives learn business. Today, we're gonna to talk about some things to help you get more upsells, to help you make sure you uh, have a client for life. Little things that I'm going to explain how they work in other businesses, and then I'm gonna help you implement it in your business. One of the biggest companies or businesses that you deal with all day, every day, that does this is your doctor right? Your doctor charges your insurance company for every visit. What your doctor usually do is he sets up a follow-up appointment so that he can see how things are going. Now, sometimes on that follow-up appointment, he has to write you a different prescription. He has to do a different MRI. He has to do a CAT scan. He has to do more blood work. Those are upsells. It may feel nice because it's dealing with health, but he's there to make money for his company. He's definitely worried about your health and if you had a doctor that didn't display that correctly, you you wouldn't trust them. So a doctor's job, really 50% of it is customer service, is making you feel nice and warm inside, making you feel like he cares a lot about your health, right? With those follow-ups, they're still making money. You'll come in for one thing, my knee hurt, they'll give you a knee brace, some Tylenol, write you the prescription for the knee brace, write you the prescription for the Tylenol, tell you to come back in two weeks. When you come back in two weeks, they're charging your insurance company again. They're running another test. That's just the way things work. Let me give you another business model, another business that does this, that found a way to do it. Dealerships. You ever buy a car from a dealership and they give you three years worth of oil changes for free? It's because they know they can make that money back in upsells. What's the cost of an oil change for a dealership? Usually very little. Somewhere around $20 to $30 per oil change. However, whenever you go back for an oil change, they're, they're completely inspecting your car to find other things wrong with it. They're doing everything to upsell you. Not only are they looking to upsell you on maintenance in your car, they'll let you take home a new car so that when you get back to drop it off, the salesman is greeting you. I own a Cadillac before. That's exactly, I will get an oil change like, yo, we're backed up. Hey, big fella, we're going to put you in the Escalade. I get the Escalade all weekend. Love it. Come back. I don't want to get back in my car. They know what they're doing. We're going to talk about how to do that with your business because you should be focusing on ways to get the most out of current clients. This is no longer a, a one time here and I'm gone. See you later. I'm going to do a video for you. Peace. I'm going to go get more clients type of gig anymore. There's no reason to do that because clients need content daily. We're not talking about content created for customers walking in the door. None of that. We're talking about just social media. They need to post five times a week. Pictures, video. If they're doing podcasts, they need to put out a short 60-second podcast almost daily. It's a lot of reasons companies are looking to keep you in and out of the building, and they don't want to have to hound you down. They're giving you something for free to bring you in. So let me guess. Your passion is this, and you want to attract this or this. So you can make more of this, but your portfolio or demo reel is not this. I've worked for these companies in the past. When it comes to finding a job or getting the attention of potential clients, a demo reel or portfolio with random clips and music won't cut it. And that's why I created this. The five key steps for creating an effective demo reel that converts. It's an online course designed to show you how to market your skills and past experience and create a video portfolio that's designed to blow away your competition and 10x your results. Remember, if you can't tell your story, how do you expect someone to hire you to effectively tell their story? Enroll today at Flash Film Academy. It's time to turn passion into profit.
everybody in business know, and if you don't know, now you know, it's five times cheaper to bring a customer back to rebuy something than it is to get a new customer. And you got a client who they know what your work is like. They know what the cost is. They know what every day they're like, yeah, let's go pull the trigger. Let's do it. When I go to my repair guy on my car and he's like, we need X, Y, and Z. I'm like, let's do it. I've been there before. I know his work. If he say it, I trust him. He's not, he ain't going to BS me. He's going to shoot it straight. He's going to keep it real. Let's do it. I need it. You sure? Let's do it. You want to make sure that you're starting to build your brand to offer upsells like that. And it's important that you realize what businesses are doing so that you can prepare your business to do the same. You don't got to reinvent the wheel. You just got to look at what's working and say, okay, how can I shape my business around that? Let's talk about ways you can do it. One of the biggest things I run into as a content creator, especially when we create video and we provide video to a client is clients don't know where to post it, when to post it, how to post it. So what we do whenever we sell content, sell video, we have a 30 day, not a return policy, but a checkup where we follow up with the client. We set it in our date. Once we deliver the video, Hey, 30 days from now, we're going to follow up with you to see how the video is doing. Let me tell you what I've gotten out of that simply by doing that. If the video is underperforming, then we're going to suggest ways to make it perform. Now, a lot of times the video is underperforming, especially I love it when a client posts their video on YouTube because I know YouTube. Right. We can look at thumbnails. We can look at keywords. We can look at does the video has closed caption. If it's a longer video, does it have timestamps? There are ways we can make the video more SEO friendly. And if they have not done that during the follow up, we'll look at it and make suggestions with those suggestions. We'll offer up sales. Sometimes we get comments like, you know, the clients that's watching the video, they don't really understand what's going on or we need more detail. And I would suggest more video. Hey, maybe we should do a more detailed video. Maybe we should split this into two videos. You want to offer suggestions. Remember these videos live on their website. They live on their social media. These videos are living, working, breathing parts of their company. So we may have to adjust them and that's fine. Don't be afraid to look at it and offer some suggestions. So again, let's go back. I'm a photographer, right? I'm selling headshots. I'm selling group shots. I love doing group shots for clients. I'm gonna tell you why, because groups usually change. They change about every 90 days. And a lot of clients are like, you know what? We're going to leave that picture on the website, man. We didn't lost two people. We didn't hire two people. I ain't, I ain't got time to figure out what's what. So you know what I do every time I do a group portrait, I contact them usually 60 to 90 days after I deliver it. Hey, how's everything going? Just to let you know, we're offering a discount on updated group fold. Perfect. Cause we got such and such out. We got this new person, this part, literally this just happened to me because we bring all of our equipment. We shoot, you know, with our own backdrops, we can recreate the image easily. But because I checked in with that client who already had this on their mind, but they had some, they was either understaffed, they training, they, they had so much on their mind for us to call in with a discount mind blowing. Wow. Man, you know, we just brought in three new people. Man, this would be perfect. When can you do it? These are things that you're thinking about long term. You're thinking about the lifetime value of that client and you want to create the opportunity to upsell that client. Now, when I come back to do group shots, I may talk about video. I may talk about lifestyle shots. So as you grow this business, I need you to think about that, right? People wonder like, well, how do I leave my job and I'm scared I'm going to go into this business and I'm not going to make it. And you will make it. If you can get 20 good customers and you know how to follow up with them, they'll keep you busy all year. You don't need 50 new customers a month. That's the, that's kind of the, the myth of going into business that you need 50 new customers a month. I got to go out here and sell every day and get, no, if you learn how to work one customer, they'll pay you throughout the year and you just layer it and layer it and layer it. That's why it's important to build those connections. It's important to understand how to satisfy the client you have. It's more valuable than going to get a new client. Go back and look at your previous sales. I guarantee you there's more sales in it. Hey, keep in mind that the video you just watched contains clips from a longer lecture that's available to our gold members at flashfromacademy.com. You can go to flashfromacademy.com to watch the complete lectures. If you want to get all the gems and all the information, or you can stay on the channel and continue watching some of our content here. Just click one of those boxes somewhere around here. Just, yeah, you know where to go. Right up in here, somewhere, wherever it pops up, you, you know what to do. You got this.